Why do you think some people, even when presented with more than enough evidence that proves the truth of the Bible, it does not seem to make any difference to them? They just seem to close their ears to the truth and prefer to believe the lies. What do you think? Well, it's really quite simple. You know, there's always the person who says, my mind's made up, don't confuse me with facts. <laughs> and remember that these people believe what they believe by faith. And I think that we need to witness to them. I think we need to lovingly correct them and educate them. However, before you try to do that, there's one question you need to ask. You see, you have to uh, judge with them on an individual basis. Are they willing to learn? Because if they are not willing to learn, they will never be willing to change. You see, that's the point. And so you need to have a conversation with them and said, uh, are you willing to learn? Now, some will, of course, boastfully say, well, of course, I, I learn all the time. You say, well, if you do learn something that contradicts what you believe, are you willing to change? And you see, that's when the rubber meets the road. That's when you start getting down to no, my mind's made up, don't confuse me with facts. Mm -hmm. And so what you have to determine in your witnessing is, is this person willing to learn? And if they do learn, are they willing to change? That's the first and foremost thing you've got to determine. But Grady, let me ask you, some of our viewers are saying, I'm just so desperate for my, my friends and families to come to Christ and I've got such a love for Christ and I want to share it with them. But some of our viewers might be saying, but I'm so shy, I'm not very outspoken. What advice would you give to them in order to share and evangelize the good news of Jesus Christ? Well, Jesus said, if you deny me, I'll deny you. That's a pretty powerful statement. <laughs> So I, I simply encourage you, regardless of your timidity, and, and I understand that, but you, you need to try. Okay. And the other thing you can do is you can pray that if you are not the one that God has called to reach them, that God will send the right person to them. Because even if you don't do it yourself, you can pray for the right one. And, and this is personal experience. I, I had somebody that I was very concerned about that was absolutely unsaved. I witnessed to them several times and so forth. And finally, it was very interesting because they said to me, listen, I appreciate what you're trying to do. Yeah. But you are not the one God has called to reach me. And that's exactly what this non-believer said. God has not chosen you to reach me. And I gave up. But I did continue to pray that somebody would eventually reach them. But it's also planting those seeds as well, isn't it, Grady? And and maybe sharing some, uh, sharing some of the testimonies in your own personal life. You don't need to be Bible bashings like some people say or quoting scriptures because people can get defensive. But it's the way you put it across in an everyday speak of everyday world way that God has an effect in all our lives on a day to day basis. And maybe just sharing a small testimony or sharing something good that Christ has done in our, in our own lives might be a food for thought for either a friend or family to draw them a little bit closer to Christ. Well, that's just it. You know, it doesn't have to be a full frontal assault. Uh, there were several people in my life prior to me becoming a Christian who simply showed me that they were living a Christian walk. Yeah. Uh, a few of them tried to witness to me ineffectively mm -hmm. uh, because they weren't using the right bait, but the Holy Spirit always does. Mm -hmm. And so when the right bait came along, I got hooked. Very good. <laughs> so, Set the example. Faithful witness. We do need to be a faithful witness. Amen. And I look back now and realize how much I appreciated what they had done, even though they didn't actually win me at that time. Amen. Amen. Set the example. Very good.